Dead man mode day two. Well, it's still day one because you know I haven't slept yet. I ended off the last video just under six hours into the game mode, and I told you guys we are focusing on being PK ready by the time the second breach rolls around, which is hour 10, seven hours after the first breach. I need to train my mage even more, start training my range, and make sure I have the right gear in place when the clock hits hour 10. Today's video is sponsored by Jax themselves. I'll be playing Deadman Mode Apocalypse for the next three weeks, and I think you guys should as well. It's live until mid-September, and it's a PvP-focused temporary game mode with boosted XP rates, powerful sigils, and bosses invading all over Gilinor. This is easily the most interesting Deadman yet, and I invite you guys all to simply try it out and see if you like it. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description, linking you to the Deadman blog, which will help you have all the info you need to start today. Thank you once again to Jax for sponsoring this video. Alright, I'm getting my Mage Cape 1 before I go back to Bursting. No way bro, tier 5 in the flesh. That's almost unheard of. Oh, I just got- dude, I got, just got a tier 5 into a Mystic Robe top. Holy fuck, I'm rich. I got a Master one, what should I do with it? Auto cost. From these? From Skeletons Conquer? Yeah. Damn. In, in a tier 5 in the same drop. Damn, oh, what switch? the fuck? Dude, I think Elio might pay for the last one, last one. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, bro, this guy. But don't what, you think? What do I buy? I have, I have maybe wizard boots. Maybe someone gets wizard boots, so by <laughs> Low key, that's a shot. Why shouldn't it? Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out of the tunnels, do you mean? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're hitting, they're hitting, they're hitting. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, we're just gonna have to tough it out, Conk. We're gonna have to suicide it somehow or some shit. I don't know, bro. I just got out. I'm gonna go, I, dude, I might go back, bro. Like, they might not check my world, you know? Like, or is no, that wishful thinking? Down. I'm going back, yeah, in 590 in my world if you want to come with okay, me. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna come with you. Uh, I'll just chill. I'll just sit at, sit at Dario for a second. I just, like, <laughs> can't be asked. I don't have a choice, you know? Like, the breach comes out in an hour, 50 minutes. I gotta be there, bro. <laughs> I don't, like, if you can get to... 90? Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to get 90, I'll do the boost, and then I'll just go and mage melee, and just hopefully it goes. Alright, the next breach comes in exactly an hour, 17 minutes. I'm 89 mage right now, it should take me around 10, 15 minutes to get to 90 magic, and then I'm going to stop there. I can actually pot to 94 magic for my barrage. The sigil of preservation will keep that pot forever, so I'll be 94 mage ready to barrage at the next breach, and that should give me enough time to go train my range up a little bit, and get geared so that I can PK at this first breach or the second breach in an hour and ten minutes or so. Yeah. I don't like the way um, this guy's looking at me, bro. I'm just hoping oh, yep. for some. Not good. They're rushing me. I must change I... the screen. Dude, this is not real. You wanna see some crazy fucking mage defense, 92? Oh he just bristed his friend! Oh fuck. <laughs> if you can catch him. <laughs> nice. Go around, go around, go around. Oh. oh my! I agree this whole time, I can't be asked. No, I just got frozen on a fucking sting, dude. Not good, bro. I'm dead. With 12 brews as well! Oh my. If you go up, you can maybe. Fuck. Uh, GG. Alright, we have to change up the plan because obviously I died while I was bursting. There was about 50 minutes until the next breach. I'm just going to switch to normals and alk my way to 90 magic while also starting my range training because I think that, like, I need to start range training, obviously. 28 range. I should be able to use this Dorgi now, which will speed things up quite a bit. We're about 40 cost away from 90 magic as well. That is 90 magic, which means I can now pot to barrage, and with the preservation sigil, I can pretty much keep it. There is 43 minutes until the next breach, so I'm probably going to be here for like 30 minutes or so, get my range up as much as possible, and then I'm going to get kitted for that next breach, do it, and also kill some people. Alright, I'm 45 range. I'm going to go try and throw as many chins as possible in a 20 minute period before this breach comes. All right, the difference between one level isn't gonna be the, really the difference, and I wanna make sure I can get ready, so I'm gonna go gear up now. Here's the quick gear setup I threw together. My friend let me use his master one that he got as a global drop, 
and I swapped for a Corrupted Void Waker, which is perfect for my combat build. And I just threw together whatever else I could find or buy. As you can see, there's no Mystic Robe bottoms. And I'm also going to be bringing my Scythe because I think it could be pretty good for just attacking the bosses straight up. Come on. All right, mine is Lum south of Lumbridge Swamp. Okay, there's a bunch of people here, bro. Holy shit. Dude, there's so many. I'm just going to have to pick a target and, like, go for it, I guess. Or maybe I'll PK after the breach. Who knows? I've got to I've gotta just pick someone to kill, huh? Yeah, I reckon that's the move. There's so many people, bro. I'm turning my fucking player indicators off. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna attack someone. This is, this is a little bit too passive. For my liking. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm dying. Ooh! Dude, Prime just started fucking me up. There's a guy PK in here with Blitz, bro. I need to get and try and jump on him. Oh, bro, I'm on a Scald guy, bro. He's risking bank, too. Void Wicker! 36. One more. Oh. He smited, though. Bro, this guy's just straight melee with a DDS. He's a pack. Oh, he might have the Lost City thing. No way, right? Nope. Yeah, I'm hitting him in there. But he can just, like, I can still kill him, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, the menacing mage. He's dead. I just got my first kill. Full rune, everything. He's dropped a good fight. Good fight, bro. There's immunity, right? Fuck, I really... How are there no loot keys, bro? What happened to that? Oh, this is not 07, right? I'm just fucking tripping, dude. Oh, I got his Mystic Broadum too. Nice. I lost a red dehyde top in the in the process somehow, but it is what it is. Check this fucking key. 168k. Oh, bro, I just found a full rune pack, dude. How am I already under attack? Oh, I just one hit him, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Did he see that? Oh, he had a tier 5, bro. Oh my god, that's so funny. I'm on a level 80. Void Wicker! Damn it. Come on, Corrupted Void Waker. I need you to slash this guy to death, bro. He's got a dragon plate skirt. If I had smite, this would be... Yeah, I know. I, I'm not going to be able to hit him. He's pretty much in combat with someone or he has grace. I'm just trying to kill someone else. Yeah, I see him too. I should kill this guy for Dragon Plate Skirt right now, I think. Which is pretty huge. Blow, he's walking. Dude, this guy just snared me back. Oh, he's dead. Good fight. Dude, I just got a dragon plate skirt. Alright, the breach is over. Let me check what these two keys were. Hopefully, it was worth our time. Oh my god, 580k and 850k. Definitely worth our time. Crystal Weapon Seed, Dragon Halberd, and another Dragon Halberd and stuff. Definitely, definitely worth our time on top of all the loot we just got.
This is pretty much all the loot. We just got 1.2 mil. We got some Mystic Row bottoms. I couldn't even buy those for 200k, guys. All of this stuff is worth more than it actually shows. But as a preliminary thing, 1.2 mil plus the tier 5 emblem, which is very important. Very, very good for us. Yeah, that breach was so overwhelming. There must have been like 50 to 100 people there. Definitely a bit different than the first breach. I probably should have just started attacking people right away, but I was pretty overwhelmed. So I'm happy to make it out with four kills and so much profit made. Now the next breach is eight hours away at hour 18, and I'm not gonna sleep at all before then. I'm gonna finish training this account for the bracket by getting my range as high as possible and finishing up 94 mage. Because when that breach hits, I'm going PKing again with a little bit more preparation of what to do this time. All right, I just got 80 range. I wanna get some pretty fairly evened out tribrid stats. So I'm gonna get like 85 range maybe, then finish up 94 mage, and then probably dump the rest into strength so I can have 80 something strength. Oh like yeah. That's so you don't get you scammed, bro. Yeah, everyone has it. Yeah. Do you need fire runes and air runes? I don't know how you take it off. Yeah. It's in your settings or Trade. some shit. No, 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 I got, I got, sorry, I got, I just checked. Oh, I'm getting rushed from both sides. Not good. Not good at all. Wait, we need entangles, by the way. Oh, I tell you now, I'm too good. I'm actually I'm too good. All right, I keep getting rushed at the MM1 tunnels while I try and chin. So I'm going to try and finish up 94 mage at the temple spiders. And then maybe we'll try and go back and chin later. All right, shout out to Ultimate Iron Man Verf for this fucking method. Um, we're just gonna stack them up and do it, I guess. I'm actually a donut. I just realized I could be mage potted right now and literally using preserve so that I could ice barrage instead of ice burst. Hopefully I've still got a dose of mage pot in my bank, but I might not. With the sigil of preservation and literally one dose of mage pot, I can barrage now for the entire time. I just got the sigil of prosperity. I don't know what that is or how much it's gonna sell for. I'm about to hit 93 mage here, which means one more level until 94, and then I have to go back to trying to chin my range. I really don't want to use my chins here, I just feel like it's a waste of chins. The barrages is like, you know, it's fine, but the chins I really do want to use on the skeletons, so I might go back to the MM1 tunnels and hopefully not die, but we'll see. Anyway, that's 93 mage. Alright, we're back here, we're suicide chin and barraging, hopefully we don't die. Yeah, so I chinned for a little bit, but I got scouted again, and I wasn't dying in these tunnels again, so I just sucked it up and went back to Temple Spiders. Okay, I'd say we're about 14 hours into the tourney just about, or maybe even a little bit less. Just ran out of chins, and they're not really buying. I think most people are probably sleeping right now. Almost got us to 87 range, though, so I don't know what I'm going to go do next yet, to be honest. Okay, I got to be real careful with my combat here. 52 prayer, I'm 89.8 combat. I can get all the way close to 91 combat. So I can get to 90 and keep training. So I gotta be real careful right now. All right, I'm gonna finish up my 94 mage here at the spiders as well as my 87 range, just so I know where I am in terms of my combat. I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to go back to the MM1 tunnels. So once I get these levels, I'll just finish up my melee and I'm pretty much ready to go PK. The next breach is in four hours from now. I still haven't slept. So I'll probably just PK up until the breach, PK at the breach, and then we'll see what I wanna do. If I wanna sleep or if I wanna carry on. Okay, that's 87 range. I think I'm going to call it there for the range training. I've got 90 chins left, which I'll just sell back. Let's finish 94 mage, which is another 60k XP. Bro, I just got 94 mage, but my brain is so zapped, I didn't even realize. That's some wasted HP XP, but it is what it is. 87 range, 94 mage. I'm still 89.8 combat, which means it does give me a little bit of room to train my strength. Now, I actually thought I was going to train my strength, but I'm actually going to get my defense to 60, which is four more defense levels. I won't get any HP levels from it, and it means I'll still be 90 combat, pretty much one level off 91 and it works out perfectly. And this is 60 defense, perfectly calculated to the fourth degree. You can see I'm 90.8 combat. If I even get one strength level now, I move into the next bracket. So I'm gonna go lock my XP in Lumbridge and then come back here and AFK for my Dragon Offender while editing the second video. Can you stop me from gaining XP? Yes, I can help with that. Thank you very much, Nigel. Appreciate that, buddy. Bro, I finally got the Dragon Defender. I must have killed like 400 of these motherfuckers, dude. Thank God. Okay, I just caught up editing to this point and the breach comes in an hour, 45 minutes. Obviously, I'm completely maxed out for this bracket. I could still go get a little bit more prepared in terms of supplies and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I might even go PK in if I'm ready before the breach comes. So I'm actually gearing up to go PK. I've got like an hour and a bit to kill. And to be honest, there's already some people running around with Ancients. They kept hitting me as soon as I'd tally into Birth Rope to go to the Warriors Guild. And it's pissed me off enough to gear up and go PK. I'm on this kid now, but he's on the scald. He's a fucking pussy, bro. <sighs> what, Johnny, you're gonna hit me, fam?
Dead. Oh. Action. We did it. You should buy corrupted the claws. Think about it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, with claws. No. No. This guy just teleported in. Let's see if he's ever been attacked on DMM before. Let me pull out the D skim. So he doesn't know what to pray. Oh, it's Zandy. Toss in a bolt. Foot wicker. Oh. Dead. No way, I got him. <laughs> Dude, it, Warrior's Guild is literally safe, this DMM. So he was like two tiles away from being safe, and I actually killed him. Oh my god. 400k, bro. Just like that. 34k, I'm pretty sure I took his entire bank when I killed him. Huh? Johnny BR is here fighting DK Cleth. What the hell is this? He just teleported in. Dead. No way. Again? Dead. Oh my god! Bro, he literally just teleported in and got smoked. That's the first PK out the game for everything. Welcome to DMM. Poor fucking guy, bro. He must have just he must have been hopping as soon as he saw me log in or something. 580k and four keys. One mil key off the bat, four Larence keys. I'm pretty sure that might be worth opening or I might sell them on the GE. I'll ask my friends, but that is a mil straight up. 380k as well, 100k cash, super, super good. 80k cash, bro, those are some sick keys. This last one was trash, but these first three and the mil key are sick. What, what even did I get? Coal? Bro, I just got back to back coal, what? Oh my god, bro. I got back-to-back -back coal into cash into gold ore, bro. That's the most troll Larence keys ever. Who told me to open these, bro? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the third breach of the first day. South of Lumbridge Swamp again. In my world. Someone just got a trinket of advanced weaponry, so I'm jumping him. Come on, pray melee. Dude, he's literally not eating. Void Waker. 40. You're dead, mate. Good fight. Did I just get his advanced weaponry thing? Tell me I did, bro. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. It's in the loot key. It's in my, uh, it's in my fucking looting bag. 590, bro. I can't believe I have his trinket of advanced weaponry in my, in my bag right now. Find one of these RSNs. That oh, Skulled Mysticker. Skulled Mysticker, I'm on. It's bad for him. It's bad for him right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always try and kill those guys. But right now I'm on a little 77 in Mystic, bro. Come on, Barrage. Bro, that's actually a pack. I don't know where he's running. You're sculled. You can't go into Lumbridge, mate. Oh, fuck. Kree's gonna hit me, bro. Dude, if this guy runs into Lumbridge, I'm gonna be so sad. Don't run into the safe zone, bro. You're sculled. You're sculled! I hope he knows he's sculled, bro. This guy's booking it north. You're sculled, bro. Okay, he realized he's skull. He's running back south now. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> what a guy, dude. GG, he says. He's got a D mace, bro. Good fight. <laughs> I killed him. Full mystics, the lot. I see a level 86 on Mystic again. Worms butter. I'm fucking this guy up in Mystic right now. 24. Is he out the game? He is out the game. That's three kills, bro. They're all good kills, too. Oh, my days. I don't have enough, I don't have enough looting bag space for all this, bro. There's an AC member here, level 83. I'm jumping him now. And so the ball. Down. KYS Swedish, literally KYS. Someone just said to me, "Oh, and I just got another kill. I just took a peak air out. Oh my god, dude, I'm actually farming." I'm actually farming, dude. I don't have enough inventory space for all this. Four fucking keys, full everything, bro. And the trinket as well. <laughs> I forgot about that. Dude, I got a Tumikins. I got a Shadow. Dude, no way. I just got another kill, but I'm not there, so it, the thing went to the ground. And I, don't, I can't get back to Lumbridge. Oh my god. Alright. This is the quickest four keys open in my life. What are the, what are the values going to say? 134k, 118k, 500k, and 866k. Cross A! Come on. Dude, I just killed another PKer. Ha ha ha! Oh my god, bro. I'm legit feasting. Some guy at the fucking castle wars when I tell you in, bro. <laughs> I can't go back to Lumbridge anyway, so I'm gonna hit you. Poor guy, man. My Zerial staff bought as well, bro. This day gets better and better. All right, let's check these two keys. The first one, 470k. Very, very nice. And the second one, a mil, bro. I have literally just made so much money. What a day of PKing. I managed to buy my zero stuff. I PK'd a Tumican Shadow, and I lost count how many people and PKers we literally one hit today. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. We're less than 500 subs away from 120k subscribers. Like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one when I decide what to do with all this loot.